So I'd like to Good afternoon po. Let's all stand up and open our Bibles in the book of Psalm 101. Let us read the whole chapter and uh, let's read this responsibly. Psalm 101, I will read verse 1 and you follow verse 2. 101, I will sing of mercy and judgment unto thee, O Lord, I will sing. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. Whoso privately slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that had a high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. Altogether, I will early destroy all the wicked of the land, that I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. Let us pray, our Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord, for this time that you have given us. Thank you for those blessings that we have received this morning. Thank you, Lord. Inyo pong mensahe, inyo pong salita na gagamitin ngayong hapon. Salamat po, Panginoon. Give us the open heart and open mind and uh, guide us and help us throughout this day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may all be seated. I remember that the first devotion I shared was about David and uh, this, this uh, chapter, Psalm 101, talks about David. All right, so David revealed several ways he kept from falling even, even more than he did. So let me start here in verse number three. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. So it says there that David protected his eyes from uh, seeing those wrong things. He may not have had uh, the, the amount of uh, pornographic temptation that um, that waits to snag or to catch the wandering eyes today, but he had divert his um, vision not to see things that would lure him or or attract him into sin. So if David had his or yeah had his uh, television in his day, I believe that there would be so much uh, programs that he would not watch, because here it says that. I will not set no wicked thing before mine eyes. And he also avoided those that were lazy and did not work. I hate the work of them that turn aside, and it shall not cleave me. So in verse number four, a forward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. So it simply means that David would not allow himself to be self-willed or to be unreasonable. And... He avoided those doing wickedness. And in verse number 5, Whoso privately slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that had a high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. So verse number 5, David uh, kept from those people that talked ill of others. And he avoided himself from those that were prideful. And in verse number 6, you see here that David, are mine eyes, shall be upon the faithful of the land, and that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. So it shows that David surrounded himself from those people, or with those people who worked and uh, tried to live in a perfect way. And in verse number 7, he that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry, tarry in my sight. So he kept his distance from deceivers and he avoided himself from liars. And lastly, in verse number 8, he, I, will, 
I will destroy all the wicked of the land, and that, that I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. So it, show, it shows that David th did all he could to get out wickedness in the lands he controlled. So many are, are successful people often reveal how they obtain so many, so many achievers or achievements and uh, victories. And did, uh, David did just that in this passage. He accomplished what he did. He accomplished what he did, not just only because of his wealth, not because of his powerful position, but David attained so much because he uh, behaved himself wisely in a perfect way, and that is found in verse number two. Verse two: I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way, or when wilt thou come unto me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart so in this scripture perfect was not referring to sinlessness so the 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 perfect in this context means moral upright um undefiled or sincere so the leader of israel which is king david tried to do his best though he did fall several times to live the way that was praising or pleasing to the lord so every single behavior that David did to protect himself from falling into sin would help us today. Like every minute of our life, we are tempted. I mean, there are many temptations. Saan saan, kung saan saan tayo mapunta. Like even when you're alone, pag hindi ka, hindi ka, I mean, hindi ka na, hindi ka aware sa mga bagay na, Dapat mong gawin, mostly mapo-fall tayo sa temptations. Like, sa mga programs, sa mga pinapanood natin, sa televisions, kahit sa mga bata, they, what, they, they got those um, bad influences or even to the, to the programs that they, they have or they're watching. No, falling into sin would help people, especially us today. Temptations surround every single one of us. We will also be inclined to sin if we will not separate ourselves from those destroyers of our testimony and joy. Kung hindi lang tayo naging wise, baga, ang separation na pakahalaga. Let, uh, sabi nga is, you have to separate yourself from those evildoers. Kahit doon sa mga taong nagmumura, minsan napaka ano na sa atin. Pag narinig mo yung taong nagmumura, parang ang... ang ang pangit pakinggan. Sobrang pangit pakinggan. Lalo na yung mga taong nakikita mo sa paligid mo. And then you are, I mean, you, you go with them every day. So, napakahirap po. So, let's avoid wrong influences or you will give in to sinful behaviors and evil temptations. Yun lamang po and God bless you. Thank you.